Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is Gorilla Mezzo and welcome to Monday Night Claw. Hello everyone, happy Monday. It is the best part of the week because it's time for Monday Night Claw and we are live in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we are go we're, we've we've got a hell of a show kicking off tonight, including a hell in a cell main event for the extra arms belt. That's going to be Ardback versus Frost Lord Army. Frost Lord's final shot at that title. But first, we're going ringside because we have the grand triumphant return of Dress for Business. They are in a tornado tag non-title match against their old enemies. Das Hats, Lean Guerra, and the country wizard Oriolensis are looking to cement their standing one more time at the top of the tag team division after we've seen implosion after implosion by the unnatural snackers who cannot keep their shit together to get themselves that gold around their belts. But maybe the calming force of Muppet Pac-Man returning to the JFW after losing his plim plum loser weight belt can come back and get the trio back on track, but they are facing six feet down under. That's Gengar, that's Night Demon, and that's Gaday Nick. And that is going to be a nasty match, if you ask me. Yep. All right, glad to hear you're doing well, Jim. Jimmy, <laughs> let's get down to ringside. It's time for Dress for Business. Your two heads champions, the shitheads themselves, to get back in the ring and kick off Monday Night Claw. Oh, yeah. And what an entrance they have. Sure do. And they're going to have those that gold around their waist. First time we've seen them enter with those titles. Hopefully they have them. Thank <laughs> Christ they do. <laughs> that would have been, been pretty terrible. It would have. <laughs> the yep movement. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, you could do the yep movement with Lemon if you want to team up with Lemon, Jimmy. Or Jimmy, If Jimmy Min Max Tastic and Lemon wanted to do a, uh, a run together. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> Chase by. All right, but here they come two time, two heads champions. Das Hot's one of the greatest tag teams in JFW history. Uh, and, uh, you know, <laughs> they've gone above and beyond to get that title, but they are here tonight for a fight. Tornado tag, no tags in their outs. This one's just going to be a brawl in the ring. And if I, I think if Das Hots can get the win here, they'll have enough clout to get one last try at those two heads titles that they lost a few weeks ago. Ah, very interesting. Country Wizard. <laughs> it's pretty funny, isn't it? Country Wizard. And C North Country. Yeah, they were good. Pretty good. They were good. They were good. Uh, good. <laughs> I can't speak English. <laughs> You're using lots of words there to say very little, Jim. That's usually the opposite. Yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ingera summoned from that weird green mist. You can see he is ready to go tonight. He's a little, maybe a little nervous about the ring there as it startles him as he gets in it, <laughs> but he is ready for action. And you don't need to ask if the country wizard is ready. Oriolensis is always good for some shenanigans in the ring. Yep. This is actually the longest intro in the gym, but it's pretty long, yeah. I do think yeah, I'm it's not it's not, sure but it I'm is very long. long. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure Demon Rick's number one. 
Or, uh, or Thaw. Thaw's is really long. <laughs> but Rick's is really long. <laughs> yeah, for total of 68 times. Thanks, I don't. English is the first foreign language people from Newcastle in <laughs> Sounds about right to me. <sighs> uh, Demon Rick. Demon Rick entrance is super long. Crushers is probably the shortest. Oh, undoubtedly. <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame that Crusher's got it because uh, ah yeah okay it's really good. The, like it would, that would have been perfect for calcium, wouldn't it? I think the Ultimate Warrior entrance like, is just perfect for calcium, isn't it? I don't know if there's anything else. That isn't used. <laughs> oh well. Oh no. Well, that's gonna be a win for the two heads <laughs> champs. But, uh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> the country wizard could not resist <laughs> punching Levin is good square in the balls before this match even got going. And who but you know what? Levin, Levin is good. Levin is good. And uh, Fanfox is going to get the win on the card, but not the win on reality there. <laughs> <laughs> what a country move, if you ask me. Yep. <laughs> All right, and now we have Plim Plum, Pluser Weight Action Extreme Elimination here. Otter Royal Physics. Wait, not, not Plim Plum, Pluser Weight. Excuse me. Wem, Wem Dope. Dope Action. We've got Otter Royal Physics, Kiwi Nutsack Attack, and Ansi. All four of these men will be competing to get the next title shot for the Wem Dope Championship that is currently around Night Demon's Waist having won it on Friday night, stand firm. And if you notice, these men are drawn from all the weight classes in the JFW, because as we heard on Friday, stand firm, weight classes are more or less no longer a thing. The Plim Plom Pluser weight division, the only one withstanding that. Everything else, anyone can compete for any title. They just got to prove that they're worthy of it. And we are going to see if one of these four guys can be your next Wem Dope champion. Oh, yeah. Samurai Snape, a fucking turkey. Enjoy, yes. It's pretty much pretty close. It's pretty, yeah. Uh, it's pretty close, yeah. <laughs> Ansi has been training, has been put a bit of training in, he has refreshed his moveset somewhat. So it'll be oh interesting boy. to see what he does now. I believe the Cuddle of Doom is no more. Glorious that run. <laughs> I, think, I think the thing that's been holding Ansi back is the, uh, the, uh... <laughs> The, the lack of um, the lack of brain cells from all of the head trauma he's <laughs> suffered in his career. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, the social distancing dildo is pretty impressive. Physics, well, uh, physics debuted, what, a week ago, two weeks ago? But he hasn't had too many matches since. No. Tell us a little bit more about him, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, he was trained by uh, by the well. Of course, physics uh, is Sir Isaac Newton, the guy who uh, you know saw an apple falling off a tree and uh, you know discovered. I mean, I guess kind of. I don't know what gravity something to do with that. And then uh, he was trained by the man that gravity forgot, Adrian Neville. Brilliant, All right, Adrian Neville, now known as Pac on the uh, indie scene and in uh, uh, rival companies. But, uh, yeah, the man that Gravity forgot has a lot of high-flying moves. And then uh, in stark contrast to that is Kiwi Nutsack Attack. <laughs> He's got one move. We just saw it end the match yep. <laughs> in the previous go. This one, though, is Extreme Rules Elimination. So the only thing uh, that it's going to be disqualifying is uh, future children for the recipient. <laughs> Absolutely. Glorious. No, I won't. Yeah, already. finally getting caught. Until finally getting I'm caught victorious. for cheating, huh? And I will defend. I will defend. Glorious. Thank you very much, Unseen Walker. 
Prime 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 Battle Brawl. <laughs> Thanks for staying fantastic for a nearly I can't even do the math. Seven who will be the present? Yeah, seven. Nearly seven who will be the pregnancies. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. <laughs> My balls are bloody. This is a little bit long, but it's not that long, is it? It's fucking cool. Yeah, it's just the, it's just the lead in. Fine. It's like the only cool thing he gets to do in the JFW. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let him have it. Oh no, I, I think it's I think it's pretty. Jordy Collin, yeah, that is Jordy Collin. Or, or like just a goblin or an orc or something. Pound shop Kendona. He's not a pound shop Kendona, I guess. Like, this is does have. Yeah, it was really, really let the cat with the bag by having them on the match before. <laughs> but never mind. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, it totally is. I didn't even. Th I was like, I was wondering. I was like, how did we never use this music before? Of course we did. Maybe they could have a different entrance. Well, I think uh, I think Das Hots have earned their entrance. Uh, if anything, Otter Royal needs to pick a different one. Yeah, I guess you could have a different different. Song hey, has anyone been trained by the Miz in the JFW? I believe somebody has, but I just forget. Who. Oh, okay. I was just thinking about that the other like, well, a few minutes ago. I don't know. I said the other day. <laughs> Not Poundland. This is like hundred. Hundred pound land, Kendo Nagasaki. Look at this badass. He's way better than Kendo Nagasaki. <laughs> Two for a pound. And here comes Ansi. He's uh, made a name for himself, getting his face kicked off in the uh, Plim Plomp <laughs> Loserweight division. Now looking to punch out of his weight class and grab the Wem Dope title. Gonna have to eliminate three other guys here and then go on and win a match against Night Demon to do so. But this would be a nice turnaround for Ansi. Yep. <laughs> a buddy of mine in the UK um, just did a photo shoot with uh, with uh, Neville, and mm. he did this really cool picture where he's like out in this hilly area with this like stone wall. I don't know if it's part of Hadrian's Wall or something, but it's somewhere up there with Pox standing on it and this big tree in the middle of it where it like dips down. And I saw it, and I was like, "That's a really cool photo." But I'm gonna lose my shit about it right now because I'm pretty positive that tree is the tree from the beginning of Robin Hood Prince of Thieves <laughs> when the dogs are chasing the kid. The only reason I know that is because those dogs are Scottish Deerhounds and I used to have Irish Wolfhounds, so I really like that big kind of gangly dog. <laughs> and uh and yeah. Oh, did you see the picture? Did you see the picture, Ansi? It's uh Robin Goading. He's a he's a buddy of mine, he's a nice dude. Oh, did they use it? They used it in uh, in his in a promo. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought he just posted it now on Twitter. But yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I didn't know that was a bigger deal. Now I feel weird that I pointed it out on Twitter. All excited. <laughs> I'm like everyone has probably discussed that at a pay per view. That that's the Robin Hood. Men in, men, not men in tights. <laughs> Robin, Robin Hood, Hood men in tights. Oh, classic. Also a classic, but not the movie I'm talking about. <laughs> Men in tights. That was brilliant. Is that like a really famous tree? Or is that just something that's obscure enough that... I, I've got no idea, so... Okay. Yeah, at the beginning of the movie, a bunch of British soldiers are, like, chasing this kid. And, uh... He said Robin Hood saves him. Hmm? Anyway, back to the match here. Nothing, not, definitely not talking about that on commentary right now. <laughs> Ansi taking it to uh, Kiwi Nutsack Attack. Uh, someone brought in a sledgehammer, but has yet to really make use of it. Oops. Sorry about that. Oh, that's the tree, is it? Yeah, maybe it's a famous tree. I don't know. 
<laughs> All I know is that's where the Scottish deer hounds chased a kid up it in a movie that I liked from the 90s. <laughs> Bezel. Bezel. Oh, fuck I'm fucking. I'm muted, right? I'm not gonna watch. I'm gonna look at that fucking promo later when I can listen to it. <sighs> uh, it was. It was Hadrian's Wall. Okay, that. Yeah, that's. That was a Jimmy fight. That was well spotted, Frosty. A fucking stunk as well. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> when you own farts yeah. stink like that, 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 you know they're bad, don't you? And <laughs> you know, you know, you're sharing a commentary booth with a coworker here, Jimmy. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it was screw up. That's why. Yeah. That's why it stunk so bad. I don't fart. My dogs just howl. That's that's the only <laughs> extra noise you get. They're passed out right now. All right, physics celebrating uh, getting Nancy down there. <laughs> really going to town with himself, uh, but maybe needs to uh, keep working on the opponent. Nope, lets him get to his feet and then runs, runs the back way. in the ring. Oh, dear. Nope. Oh, dear. A bit more brain. Nancy hasn't lost the brain ones. <laughs> What's that? Is nice. that? Is that a proper? Uh, is that a signature or something? Ah, uh, might be. I, I forget what that would be. Look like. Yeah. Snapping the leg on Otter Oil, but Physics going right on to Ansi now. Plants him. The link's blocked, but yeah, I, I looked it up beforehand just to try and confirm it in my own head. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's that. I'm sure you're linking the right thing, unless you're linking something else. Oh, Kiwi Nutsack attack, driving his face and right into Otter Oil's well nuts. <laughs> Oof. Oh, what a right hand. On a headbutt as well. Oh, he's loving it. Otter Royal Crush. Oh, well, unfortunately for him, <laughs> he was celebrating actually doing something in the JFW and get instantly pinned. <laughs> oh, and Otter Oil eliminated first. His uh, struggles in the JFW continue. <laughs> and oh, look at this, though. Antsy going to take out the big man. Ooh. Oh, two and a half count. Gonna do a little bit more, need to do a little bit more to get Kiwi out. But here comes Physics right into, oh, the backstabber. Look at this, Ansi on fire. He might have Physics here. He might. He, uh, oh, he oh two and a half again. <sighs> but but Ansi fired up right now, and he's gonna have to contend <laughs> with that freight train that just ran right through him in Kiwi Nutsack attack. Ooh. Usual form. <laughs> oh. oh, look at these kicks. Instantly counted. Oh, the strength of Kiwi, oh. but that's. Yeah, I thought he was going to get a big fall, but physics Ooh. able. Oh, God, he suplexed them onto Ansi's head there. <laughs> Ansi <laughs> seems okay. Oh, maybe he's not okay. Might be showing himself out. <laughs> This is a mess. Oh, and Physics' back gives out, carrying the lightest guy in the match. <laughs> yeah. I just had a coughing fit oh, and he died. But oh, the Poison Rana, the Poison Rana by Physics. <laughs> oh, look at the oh, testicular and claw. And the testicular claw, yeah. Gravity might have forgotten him, but Kiwi Nutsack <laughs> attack certainly didn't. And now he's waiting to do the ball shot. Ooh. Oh, Ansi saving him. <laughs> Those apples didn't fall tonight, Jim. <laughs> Very good. Classic brainworms, Ansi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Physics' finisher, but it's on the outside of the ring, so it doesn't matter if he taps. But it was broken up by Kiwi anyway in his 
in his insane yeah. desire These to crush three balls. really need to get back in the rain here. <laughs> Ref can't do anything about this extreme rules. No count outs. Oh, Christ. Just got to wait for these assholes to get in the ring. <laughs> Close this match up. <laughs> Jesus. <What> is <laughs> <laughs> a theatrical miss. Oh, God, and smashed off the ring post. Right into the ring post. That's the hardest part of the ring, folks. It definitely is, yeah, not the apron. Apron, of course, the hardest part of the mat. <laughs> There's a brainwave <laughs> yeah. stat in my notes. <laughs> I'm too bad now. Kiwi cannot decide who he wants to be fighting right now, and it's not working out well for him. It's not working well for anyone, is it? <laughs> no. Whoever gets someone else in the ring here is going to be a hero in my books. Yeah, in everyone's books, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh no, the, <laughs> the head trauma once again <laughs> lawn darted into that ring post. Poor <laughs> Ancy. <laughs> <laughs> I chalk up another concussion from books. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Uh, and, and then face first back into it. <laughs> oh, no, and again. <laughs> oh, it never fails. It never fails. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, there's another, the, another submission move from physics that, uh, you know, it doesn't, doesn't do anything. Oh my god, get out of this fucking corner, guys. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe now. Maybe now. Maybe now. Possible. Maybe somebody will actually hit somebody instead of missing them. Oh, what a move. Yeah, big, big suplex on the outside. But again, all these moves basically for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're on the outside. Well, oh, I tried oh, to get him back so in the ring, but failed, I think, there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, now he's going to do it on the other side, too, probably. <laughs> oh, another backstabber. Really needs to get these guys in the ring, though. <laughs> yep. Oh, clobbered. Oh, there's the testicular claw. Oh, no, the claw. testicular claw. Hey, and he's back in the <laughs> ring. Mercifully, Kiwi nutsack attack, putting Ansi in the ring after the nutsack attack, and now the pinfall. <laughs> Just the two count. Ansi stays alive. <laughs> Physics goes for it. Ansi staying alive again. Persistence not paying off for these two. Oh, well. look at that! Ansi hitting both of them with the punch and a nice hanging neck breaker there, and he goes in for a. That's a pin. Yeah. Almost got him though. Two count there. <laughs> Slaps him to the ground. He's just oh, he was thinking about here. that uh, sledgehammer for just a second. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that big. Oh, that. And the, yeah, flippered feet. <laughs> that big bird foot. Uh, claw. Talon. There you go. The talon to the face. Oh, and here we go. It's time for the ball shot. It sure is. Oh, no. Oh, oh from behind instead. He got him. That's got to be it for physics. Oh, so. No, two count again. How do you like them apples, Kiwi? <laughs> oh, the half Boston oh, Crab. Oh. We've seen this in matches before. We have. 
Oh, but it's not going to get Kiwi out as he manhandles <laughs> Ansi to get out out of that maneuver. Physics was doing it's his job. kicking <laughs> through him to get to Physics. <laughs> Oh god, oh, Ansi. Ansi. You're oh, so, Ansi. You're so fucking stupid. <laughs> he, in fact, might be the dumbest wrestler in the champ. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> That's saying something, isn't it? The dumbest wrestler in the champ. <laughs> <Yeah. Jesus> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but look at this! Exacting some head trauma revenge on physics there. Beautiful DDT right onto the apron. Fizzle, <laughs> 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 very good. Oh, dear me. Oh. oh, the kick to the face. That could be his finisher. I've got no idea. <laughs> Kiwi missing with a vicious ball sack attempt. Oh, and then Kiwi. Oh, the counter. He countered the ball shot there. Ansi is on fire. Just uh, forgetting the basic fundamentals of an elimination match. <laughs> Might be holding them back right now. Yep. <laughs> All right, he's got Kiwi back in the ring. Physics struggling to his feet. Here comes Ansi. Can he put the big man away? Nope, he just stands there and gets punched. Oh, oh dear. Both of these guys just punishing Ansi. Oh, look at this, though, by Ansi. Oh, shoulder breaker. Beautiful. He's really not so good at defending himself. Oh, another poison <laughs> Rana to Ansi. And the pinning attempt. This is probably it for Ansi, I Could think. Could well be. Yep. Yep, and now it's down to physics and Kiwi nutsack attack. Yeah, the two big boys. <laughs> yeah, we put that match off for far too long. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Godspeed, Ansi, Godspeed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and this is it. The, uh... Oh, this could be it. Physics, he knocked, he got him, he tapped. Physics yeah. is going on to face Night Demon in the web, for the Web Dope Championship. Congratulations, Physics. That match will either happen on Wednesday or on Friday if Jim does a Wednesday show. Up to him. Yep. <laughs> I don't know whether he will or not, but we'll see. <laughs> That's right. It'll it'll probably be on. We might as well just put it on Friday. Stand firm. It's one yeah. less match to have to book. Yeah. Right. Well, that was something, wasn't it? And now the next match is uh, the Snackers. Oh, finally. Reunited and it feels so good. The Snackers, the unnatural Snackers, getting their long-lost best friend, Muppet Pac-Man, to go into a trios match against Six Feet Down Under. We were talking about Night Demon, your Wem Dope champion. This one is just about the faction. Six Feet Down Under versus Unnatural Snackers next. Yeah, it's going to be amazing, and Unseen Walker is absolutely right. But I'll be honest, Unseen Walker, I've been working on my spreadsheet today, so I've nearly got that finished. So then that will re seriously reduce the amount of menus in Battle Brothers. It's going to be glorious. I'll actually be playing Battle Brothers when I'm playing it. Can you imagine that? Can you actually imagine playing a game instead of just looking at menus? <laughs> I Yeah, having never played that game, when I tune into your streams, I'm like, oh, a combat's happening, I'll watch bored as fuck oh jim's doing management stuff in a menu maybe i'll understand the game better if i pay attention to this <laughs> i'm bored as fuck <laughs> yeah fair enough. Fair enough. It, it totally looks like a game i would enjoy if i actually like knew it and played it though like i like games like that but... yeah it is it is one of those things and here they are the snackers 
Oh, baby, the most beloved trio, the former most beloved trio in JFW history. It is Muppet Pac-Man. Uh, where, where are the rest of the snackers, Jim? I've got no idea, Gorilla. This is supposed to be a triple or a three-on-three -three match. I'm only seeing Muppet Pac-Man wearing the colors of old, too. He came to bring the boys back together. <laughs> but I'm not seeing this. Maybe they're just doing their own entrances. Maybe maybe they're still a little frosty with each other. Let's yeah. give it to them. Here they are, the unnatural snackers. You know and love J5, Satterfield. They are here to help out their friend, Night or uh, uh, the Muppet Pack, man. Uh-oh. Oh. No, that's, that's six feet down under his music, though. They couldn't oh, no. possibly have abandoned Muppet Pac-Man. Okay, okay, good. It's just Gadena. Clearly, clearly yeah. we've uh, we've got ourselves sorted out here. Oh no, it's Gengar too. <laughs> All right, just a dog. Oh, no, it's a three-on-one. Oh dear, Muppet Pac-Man. Muppet Pac-Man has been abandoned by the unnatural snackers in their triumphant return, and now it looks like he's facing. All of six feet down under, three on one. This is not going to be pretty, folks. Oh, J5, boy. someone's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Good old school rum. Yeah, uh, uh... How could those two do this to their best friend, their little buddy, their 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 snack gobbler, Muppet <laughs> Pac-Man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they affectionately call him Snack Face sometimes, I think. <laughs> snack Face! <laughs> Muppet Snack Man? Yeah. Oh dear. I think this might be beyond, uh, beyond Muppet's capabilities to beat these three undead monsters. Well, good news is this was scheduled as a traditional tag match, not Tornado Tag. <laughs> <laughs> so Muppet will have a fighting chance, but uh, that's not that's not where you want to be. Oh, and look at this. He's taking the fight to him. Maybe he's thinking he can inspire the Snackers with one hell of a heroic performance as he goes right after Night Demon, wrenches the arm, and he's trying to just trying to do anything he can right off the bat here. Yeah, and this is one of the unexpected things about having Gengar in a tag team. He's so fucking big, you can't see anything when he's on, <laughs> when he's on <laughs> It's true. It is very true. <laughs> oh, but here we go. Night Demon firing himself up there, dropping the double kicks to the side of the head. Oh, oh. oh Beautiful Ooh. suplex. <laughs> and misses with the stomp. <laughs> misses Twice. again with the stomp. In fairness, Muppet's very small. He probably uh, miscalculated a bit. But now he's just ragdolling him across the <laughs> ring. <laughs> oh, dear me. I'm going to refill my water while Muppet is uh, summarily executed here. I'll oh, be right wow. back. He made an incredible, uh, incredible take, double leg, double leg, not double leg takedown at all. Heads is a takedown. Yeah, Muppet's hitbox is bigger than he is. Yeah, exactly. Oh dear. Oh, and here's the tag. Gengar is in, <laughs> and he just taunts a little bit. <laughs> God, opens up with a power bomb. <sighs> but Muppet's somehow dominating the bigger man here. All right, I'm back, and it looks like Muppet Pac-Man doing what he can to the big man now. <laughs> oh. 
Big miss by the Pac-Man. Yeah, Muppet, Muppet, no stranger to uh, having to deal with uh, lots of big men in his career. But, uh, I mean, that's easy to say when you weigh like 108 pounds soaking wet. <laughs> yep. Uh, here's the power bomb. <laughs> oh, God, he folded him in half with that power bomb. Oh, dear. And right on cue, we can't see anything because of Gengar's ass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is, that is not a bad prediction, Satterfield. You got to believe six feet down under looking to grow their ranks <laughs> by physically murdering people in the ring and resurrecting them as zombies. Yep. yep. Oh, he worms his way out, does Muppet. It sure does. Snakes his way out. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> He's somehow, uh, somehow staying here, isn't he? Still hanging in there. Yeah, he's doing what he can, but this this all adds up. We've seen this time and time again, and I don't think we've ever seen. We've seen a two on one. We've seen Tony plays poorly, won a two on one handicap, but we've never seen anyone win a three on one handicap. Surely, look at this, the muscle buster into the coup de gras. <laughs> oh, good night, Muppet. Oh, bro, Ripperoni. Yes, indeed. I'm not even trying to pin him, they just want to torture him. <laughs> that is very true, Ancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hooking those legs for the suplex. Nice stuff by Night Demon. Oh, gosh. <laughs> It might, I mean, might as well be a feather pillow. <laughs> <laughs> and now looks like maybe Night Demon thinking about the zombie here. Nope. Oh, it's that kick thing again. Yeah, the more damn special. Yeah. And he raised the And zombie. here comes the zombie. Can Muppet worm his way out of this one? Yeah, no. <laughs> Looked, Looked like, like he, he had it for a second, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he kicked out, but I really couldn't tell because of Gengar's ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn me. Oh, Muppet thrown outside the ring. Gengar tagged in. Gengar heading out after Muppet. Muppet, just stay outside the ring. Get to 10 count and get out of there. <laughs> the heart of a champion, though. Muppet, Pac-Man, last week lost his Plim Plom Pluserweight title. And now this. This is just a bad few days for Muppet Pac-Man. But he is fighting as hard as you see anyone fight. Yep. And now Muppet back in the ring. Could Gengar get himself counted out? That would have been amazing if Gengar got himself counted out in this match. Oh, no, and now. Oh, no. <laughs> Big running kick. No, Muppet. No, he didn't. I don't know if he got hit or not. <laughs> I think he kicked him in the head. Hard to tell. Nice. I know he kicked him in the gut there with that double stomp, though. <laughs> yeah. Now he's going to hit him with a powerbomb elbow drop. Yep. Oh, no, just a last Look ride. Look at this. Yeah, last <laughs> ride powerbomb. Muppet is busted open. Now another powerbomb coming here. Big one here. I think this is the elbow drop. Yep. I like this quite a bit. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Oof. Yeah. <laughs> And that's it for Muppet Pac-Man. Count it, ref. One, two, three. Yeah, this is true. Hopefully Muppet's going to be okay. <laughs> oh, he kicks out. Muppet kicked out at two and a half. This match continues. What is he thinking? 
this might go from a match to an execution if we're not, uh, if we're uh, not careful. Yeah, it might. It sure might. <laughs> oh, so much power by Gnanek there. Stomping on the already bloodied forehead. Look how much blood is streaming out of his forehead. Oh, God. <laughs> but Muppet just keeps fighting his way back to his feet, but he cannot get out of this uh, pack of undeads corner. Oh, big move coming here. Look at this. <laughs> big boot right to the injured forehead. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> Gengar can't believe that this match is continuing. <laughs> oh, God. But not uh but not 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 willing to end it either. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Long way down for Muppet. Tags in Gdanek one more time here. What do we got coming here? <laughs> Another power Another bomb. assisted power bomb. Oh, <laughs> folds him over again. He's worried about the head, the the spine, like everything. Now the triple German suplex. No, it's the Chimera oh, no, no. Plex. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Into oh, the pin. And Muppet kicks out in two, but here comes maybe that koala clutch. Yeah, the koala yeah, clutch. Yeah, and this is gonna, this is certainly gonna put Muppet out now. You gotta believe Muppet's Muppet's going down to this, and he does. Finally, has to tap. No more air to be pulled in to his battered body. Muppet Pac-Man abandoned by the unnatural snackers, and he's taken out by six feet down under and there they are victorious the force of nature <laughs> continues to grow Gengar's, Gengar's animated like a woman whoops <laughs> he's doing he's whoops. doing high fives with him and his arms are too long <laughs> oh dear <laughs> oh dear this is the worst celebration ever <laughs> All right, well, folks, do not go anywhere. Next up, we have your long-awaited Marcel McDaniels versus Crusher match. The blood feud continues next. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yo, yeah, this is going to be amazing, this Crusher. Absolutely. And Marcel. Yeah, Destined. we had to bump that match last week, but this week it is on. Crusher Marcel are finally going to war, and there ain't nothing no one can do to stop them, Jim. Absolutely not. There is absolutely no way on earth that this match will not happen. All, all right, right all. let's get to ringside, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. son of a bitch. <laughs> There's that that bastard J5 and the other bastard <laughs> Satterfield. Looks like they haven't settled their business backstage. Folks, we're going to have to come back to that <laughs> Marcel versus Crusher match in the future. we got to stay back here because there's a situation here with the unnatural snackers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, Ansi. Sorry, I guess that's going to be bumped from the card again. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great if Crusher just came running through the halls. <laughs> if just Crusher was being interviewed up there, it would be amazing. <laughs> that would be. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to continue the show. I'd just be peeing constantly. <laughs> God, yeah, just covered in blood. Puppet would be awesome as well. <laughs> uh, looks like Seth Rollins or eight no, it's AJ. I think I think it's AJ yeah. Styles. Yeah, it is. Oh dear. Yeah, the snackers. And these two just cannot keep it together. Just brawling Oof. backstage another week in a row after leaving poor Muppet Pac-Man to get summarily executed by six feet down under. Yeah. What's it going to take for the Snackers to settle this? 
And by settle it, I mean we don't even know why they started fighting. <laughs> they just started fighting for no reason. Probably fighting over Pop Tarts, I imagine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever you want to believe it is, it's probably stupider. <laughs> yep. J5 has made claim that Satterfield's stupid talk about all his stupid beer was wearing on him, but surely J5 not one to shy away from beer. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't think so. <laughs> Oof. What a kick to the head. <laughs> and they're not even taking much advantage of the uh the backstage area they're just going after each other throwing the wild punches yep Oh. oh, there's the snack mass, and J5 is down, and Satterfield going up on the equipment box there. Oh, boy. <laughs> on the double axe handle. Satterfield's have been really dominating J5 in these uh, in these showdowns. Yeah, he really is just beasting it. Satterfield now is just stalking J5 in that hallway. AJ Styles has not noticed yet. Don't think he'll get involved, though. Oh, big suplex. But J5 right up onto his feet. That took more out of Satterfield than it did J5. But once again, Satterfield right back up, going up again, trying to show top rope Johnny. Well, Jay, oh gosh, Satterfield is a top box saddie. <laughs> top uh, box Jim saddie. versus Gorilla. <laughs> not, not even close. Nothing will top that. That was the greatest match of all time. A feat, a feat of athleticism the likes will never see again. Jim, I, I duff my cap to you. Absolutely the same. <laughs> I'm just trying to crush J5 with his size. J5 hasn't gotten in any offense in about five minutes. No, he hasn't. He's just been destroyed. <laughs> yeah, he sure has. Satterfield really, really <laughs> wants to beat him with his thighs. <laughs> this is starting to get, this is starting to get weird. It's kind of like watching a reverse cowbird. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he's busted him open. He's top box, Satterfield. Oh, Satterfield wants him up on his feet. He's busted J5 oh. open with his, with his thighs. And he caught him there, maybe? I don't maybe. even know. Maybe. Please go back to the thigh move. No. <laughs> oh, but here comes Whoa. J5. <laughs> oh, that was the, yeah, that's right. That was the Alistair Black knee. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, dear. Oh, nothing compares to that oh, God. Is from last week. Satterfield is a man on a mission here. Oh, poor J5. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, man. Right near that savage. electrical panel. Surely not. Surely not. Oh, that's the kick. Now, the snack mask puts him out, and Satterfield is going to quote unquote win this fight. <laughs> he just fucking annihilated him. He did you. Oh my god. J5 out of his element without ropes to climb, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> and next up, here we go. Here's a match for you. Plain White Toast facing off against Cock and Ball Torture. Yep. 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 <laughs> yeah, I wonder if Muppet and I wonder if Muppet and J and J Five will have a fight in hospital. <laughs> 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 See you night, demon. See you night, demon. Oh dear. What a thing. What's the gym mad for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's Flicky Flack, Unseen Walker and Flicky Flack with a lot of unfinished business. Oh, yeah, but Flicky, true, getting, yeah. Flicky getting uh, pegged here for the tag match. Unseen Walker's going to have to wait a few days if he wants to exact any vengeance on him. Oh, yeah, can't do thanks, Table Leg. <laughs> By the way, if you're a fan Absolutely, of wrestling... Thank sorry, if you're, a fan of, if, you're a fan of wrestling, if you're a fan of Magic the Gathering, um, Wanya, Table Leg Wanya, is is uh, streaming it more regularly now with a lockdown. So check out twitch.tv slash table like 23 if you want to watch one of the absolute best limited players in the world. Um, Very nice. I didn't know that. Uh, table is it uh, is it card based or the video game? The video game. I guess it would be a little weird to do card based streams on re regularly. It would. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rank number 44 he is now currently, I believe. Wow, impressive stuff. Pretty good. Go over there, give him a follow, even though I don't really know much about magic. <laughs> I only stream Commando, very good, Bezzy. Yeah, he made, he made me want to get back into it today, honestly, there's a... There's I, I mean, I used to love, like yeah, I used to love magic in like the mid to late 90s. So it, the game hasn't changed all that much, all things considered. So every now and then I'll pick up like one of the like the Steam versions of it, but I haven't in a long time. Yeah, so it's a, it's a, there's a glorious mono blue deck he's got, which is mostly it revolves around getting Ugin in and then blasting everything and then just winning after that. It's it's awesome. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll have to keep an eye on that. All right, but here we go. Plain white toast, the red mask, and flicky flack. <laughs> Coming out here to face cock and ball torture. And yeah, you know, the good friends of Table Leg Wang are in the ring right now. They've been his backup for several months after the implosion of Team Fantastic over the extra arms belt. And you know, Table Leg Wanger has got to be looking over his shoulder because Jimmy Minmax Tastic is definitely coming for him. That feud is nowhere near from done, even though. Jimmy's won every single part of it thus far. That's kind of how it goes. Well, he didn't win the match when he got when he got battered when he was uh, in, in his hospital bed, did he? So he did lose that <laughs> no, one. No, no, he didn't win that random ambush that <laughs> lasted four seconds. No. <laughs> Let's not oh have a real God. life match. That would be a main event. That would be a main event right there, Table <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, JBG. I will forever be a blue player. It's the best. So, yeah, here we go. CBT versus Plain White Toast. And we got the two quote-unquote bigger guys here. I mean, Flicky Flack, pretty big. Cocky, actually, a heavyweight. He's a pretty big dude for uh, all things considered. You just, you know, it's hard to take him seriously in his, you know, piss-stained diaper. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, it does kind of look like that. <laughs> oh, big clothesline dumps Cocky out of the ring. Flicky Flack, no interest in pursuing him. Oh, now he is. Now he is. Oof. Sucked him in the jaw. Oh, well, we're pretty much opposites on that front then, JBG. <laughs> Red is the line I refuse to cross in, in <laughs> Magic. <laughs> I'll play in the middle. I it's generally played, good. I played white and black a lot. I oh, think. Oh, thank God for that. I thought we might have got the double count out there as he was next to LeBred and Ask, uh, but he's managed to get away we, from it. We still might. <laughs> nah, it's alright now. It's it's always when they're when they're next to the tag part, yeah, yeah, that's when it happens. Yeah. And here comes if the little man. done one more move there, we would have been in trouble. Yeah, and Moradam, like a Spitfire, right into Flicky Flack, yeah. taking him down. No, he missed the second time. And oh, dear. Yeah. It was a little bit of a late start, so yeah, Lean Gary, this is still this is still claw, and uh, yes, you you can catch your match on the board. Yeah, your match was a uh, 
It was uh, it was quick, Lean Gear. I'll just say that. I won't spoil it, but uh, if you blink, you might miss it. Yeah. Oh, an enclave out of nowhere. Absolutely. Whoop. I'm watching the delay. By accident. Oh, and nice, nice pinning attempt here. But he can't <laughs> even hold on for more than a one count. Oh, he's ready to do some what's he doing here? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal suplex, not a plim plomplex, but uh, very impressive. Yep. Oh dear me. Oh, and that, there's that self-rock bottom. We see that bust open so many heads. We do really mean, unsafe uh, maneuver. Didn't do it there to Moradam, though. Yeah. Whoa. Was that part of the move, or did it just happen? That was crazy, wasn't it? No, that's that's the move. He always does that. Okay. Shows how much I pay attention to the Friday Night Football. <laughs> <laughs> who is now on claw of course as well everybody can go anywhere but the the belts will not move well just the top belts the top belts will not move yeah <laughs> look at this another pinning attempt here the two little guys I mean these these guys have been in a lot of matches against each other <laughs> Mardam loves it all The double shoulder charge. Such a feat of athletic prowess. <laughs> what? Well, I haven't look seen at this, this though. Move either. That was brilliant. Yeah. The bread mask has a excellent moveset, all things considered. And look at this, looking for maybe the plim plum plex here. Mm hmm This is it, but Mordem's gonna be right there. Can Flicky Flack get in? No, oh no, Cocky able to kick out before either are able to get there. They're both very slow in the uptick, but Cocky saves himself. <laughs> yeah, Mordom just went in and taunted instead of stopping anything. <laughs> oh dear me. Oh no. I think this could be it. It is. The Shattered Dreams. <laughs> oh. It sure is, yep. Shattered Dreams, good night, Tom Schniz. <laughs> oh, apologies in advance, folks. Oh. This isn't PG. <laughs> oh, that's just the worst move to have day. But look at this, look at this, the Friday fuckboy wants to put some uh, overburnt toast in there to protect his balls. Another arc lay and maybe a pinfall attempt here. Nope, not yet. Are you going for a third one? He sure was. Crowd calling for it. <laughs> Yeah, Flicky Jim. tagging in here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Nice flying crossbody. Flicky jumped into the into the ring and said to the ref, I'm sick of this fucking guy with these fucking dice. <laughs> fucking game. <laughs> oh, there's the, there's the curb stomp. Brutal. Oh, he just oh, got in. Oh, Flicky just this time, time able to save it. Taki yeah. took the long road to get to his own side of the ring. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that was real bad from Cocky. That was. Oh, yeah, on the other hand, it was really great from. Oh, Flicky look at this! Better. Look oh, at this! Boy. LBM gonna fly again over Holy the top. Shit. Beautiful sticks the landing. <laughs> oh. By the way, did you see did you see the flicky flat clip that Tri posted in SFL? It was incredible. Uh, no, I didn't. It was absolutely incredible. Okay, I'll have to take a look at that afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, you, you just you have to. <laughs> I was um, I, I might have watched it last night. I was uh, I was struggling to uh, communicate with the world last night on on Discord. 
I'll put it in clips. Okay. <laughs> wow, I can't really picture Flicky Flack losing it during a Blood Bowl game, but I guess I haven't seen him play a ton. Oh, <laughs> beautiful rolling neck breaker there. The Red Mask trying desperately to get the Flicky. Looks like, oh, cocky now talking shit to Flicky Flack. Looks like he had him, uh, had the tag for a second there, and then cocky cut it off. <laughs> cocky cut it off. <laughs> You're going there when I said. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh, and here we go, the plim plum plex. Again, yeah. And now he's a little further away. Can can <laughs> no <laughs> cannot get the three count with it. Maybe needs to uh Go back to the drawing board on that finisher. He's yep. not been really pinning people with it often. Uh, Flicky started in the ring, but I don't think he's tagged out since, no. Yeah, that's true. That is true, Tom Schniz. Oh, and here we go, looking, crawling over to get the tag to <laughs> Flicky Flack. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> just got a bit of instead. <laughs> and gets the two count. Oh, God, incredible, my friend. Oh, oh, here we go, well, Shattered I Dreams mean, again. I don't, yeah, I don't know why LeBred Mask would ever want to tag out in a match where he's now <laughs> taking two Shattered Dreams. <laughs> and now the pinfall. Here comes Flicky, I gotta believe. Nope. No. <laughs> no, Flicky didn't want to go anywhere near that mess. He's clearly distracted by his ongoing feud with unseen walker and what a uh what a what a rough match for the bread mask and to a lesser extent flicky flack as cock and ball torture get the big w yeah i feel like flicky's only involvement in that match was shoving the referee <laughs> oh he tagged in uh he, oh, yeah, he had a brief he had a brief scrap yeah, yeah he did have a brief scrap at the start but uh <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, maybe yeah, that's right. it. Maybe Flicky was distracted yeah. by Unseen Walker. Very good. And now it is time for your main event of Monday Night Claw. We have a very special title matched for you. The extra arms belt will be on the line as Ardvac defends against Frost Lord Army in a hell in a cell match. This one was earned by Tony Plays Poorly getting the win over Ardvac on Friday. Stand firm. Can Frost Lord make the most of it? This is going to be a last ditch effort for Frost Lord to get that title. He's going to have to win it or he's going to have to look for a new avenue in the JFW. Here we go. Frost Lord versus Ardvac. Yep. Uh, I've never had any interest in that Muppet. Yeah, it's like it's. I super think people do like it though. Yeah, it's super cartoony, isn't it? It might be a good game to like play, but it's um. And there's a bit of customization. I don't think there's that as you know. I don't think it's as customizable as this. But it's just really super cartoony. So I'd rather have something that looks like it could be a real thing almost. <laughs> Nickeling down you all the way. How old is Scotty, by the way? The champ. But for how much longer? Yeah, he is going to have to go 2 0 against Tony Plays Poorly in his career if he wants to keep that World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. But like Ansi, he's been he's been training, so 
You know, he might have a few tricks up his sleeves. But he's got to wear sleeveless uh, top, but you know. <laughs> he might have some tricks up his new elbow pads. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't see you. Hello, everybody I haven't seen. Sorry. <laughs> Here he is, the homeless guy who's <laughs> just turned up with the arena and found a belt in the trash. No, no, it's Arnvag, the extra arms belt champion. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> but, uh, what can you do? <laughs> were, you, were you muted for a bit there, Gorilla? Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, just heard, but what can you do? Oh, weird. I, I, yeah, I don't know why it didn't kick in. Mm. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Fair enough. Greg's is still open. Greg's is essential, isn't it? They'll never <laughs> close Greg's. I mean, if, if you know, if, if they want a civil war in England, <laughs> closing Greg's is how they get it. <laughs> All right, Hell in a Cell match for the biggest prize in professional wrestling, the Extra <laughs> Arms Belt Championship. Oh, dear. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, I guess Discotti confirmed what Bezel was saying. <laughs> Great minds think I like. <laughs> well, Frost Lord. Of course, Lord. of course. Sorry, carry on. I was going to say, was gonna say, of course, this is like the one. Oh, no. It said maybe Frost Lord's here. He might be lurking. <laughs> the one match he like doesn't watch, he's in. Title match. <laughs> yeah, this is Hell in a Cell, so, you know. He's gonna be. They're gonna be trapped, locked in together, just men, like on a boat, but in a cell. So it, you know, this could this could be an advantage for Frosty. He's used to confined spaces with other boys. Uh, you know, grappling with them. Yep. I don't know if Gorilla's being silent. Yep. Or not. No. You can you not hear me? No, I didn't then, no. Oh, maybe so it's just weird. my thing, I don't know. I don't know, maybe maybe I was too far from the mic and the auto activity didn't register, but it should have. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Eh, weird. Here we are, though, here's the fight. Oh, big miss. Yeah, coming up empty, Frostlord, oh no, bounces off of Ardvac and Ardvac with that nice flying forearm to try and get control in this one with a hot start but no fireman's carry drops him back and these two so evenly matched they've had several matches before they know each other so well the only difference between them is that belt that went around Ardvac's waist and maybe the body armor too but <laughs> Frostlord has yet to taste that gold and he is as hungry as anyone for it yeah I mean you'd think that uh, Frosty's tactics would involve stamping on toes wouldn't you that's the uh... That to me seems a pretty obvious thing to do against a guy with a you know, who's got bare <laughs> feet on. And you've got massive yeah. shoes on, but no mind. Well, Ardvac, no stranger to setting up his moves, already working that arm over pretty nicely, setting him up for the disarmor. <laughs> yep. Yeah, the, and to be fair, the disarmor is is very effective against uh, against the super heavies, isn't it? Uh, submission moves. He's He's made EAB tap. He's made. He's made. Uh, I don't know in canon, but he's made him. He's made him uh, tap in stream matches before and dark matches, and he's he's definitely made frosty tap last time we fought, hasn't he? So it that 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 disarmor is super super powerful. 
Yep, and also Ardvac, the man who saved us from having to fucking sit through Brock Lesnar in the JFW and one of the worst conceived bookings of all time. So uh, <laughs> thank you for that, uh, Ardvac. Oh, well, I, I like the idea of that when he was a free agent, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure you did. <laughs> oh, and here comes the Exploder Suplex. He's put, uh, he, I think that's what the movie put Ardvac away with uh, in their last meeting uh, at the pay per view. Mm. But this time, not looking like he's in a hurry to put him away in Hell in a Cell. He's going to line him up for something big here. And what is it? It's getting punched in the face. <laughs> what a plan by Ardvac. Really trying to lure Frostlord into this false sense of security. And it seems to be working. I could because Frostlord looking really comfortable right now. And just a one count on that pin. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh nice, nice counter there by Ardvac. Getting right back on top and going oh, for that boy. disarmor. He's this got it. Is? He's got it in. He's got it in. He's got it in. <laughs> oh, no. And Frostlord able to rip his arm free somehow, but that's going to do a ton of damage nonetheless. And now the big military slam there. Oh, and now it's Frostlord's time lining him up for something. <laughs> what is he planning for Ardvac? I cannot. Oh, God, this is making me nervous. This is going to be huge. He has oh, a, a real move. Holy shit. The <laughs> last ride had to stare him down to size him up, and he hits him with the last ride. Now he's looking for the pedigree. This could be over. Oh, we could boy. have a new champ here if he hits this. Really could be. He does. <laughs> he hits it, and is he going for the pin now? Nah. It's gonna now he first. is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are we going to have a new champ? Ardvac's got to kick out. <laughs> no, Frostlord annihilating Ardvac there. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Frostlord Ooh. Army is your new extra arms belt champion. Out of literally nowhere, he, wits he finally figured out how to withstand the disarmor, yeah. and he just turned it around sized him up, hit the last ride, hit the pedigree. One, two, three, new champion. Hashtag corporate AF, hashtag mighty AF has got some gold once again, and it is around Frost Lord Army's waist. Will this be a sign of things to come for Friday night? Descotti versus Tony plays poorly for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? It could be the uh, the belts coming home to Mighty Air. Yeah. This could be it. Absolutely, what a what a massive result there! And, Absolutely, uh, and folks, that is going to do it for Monday Night Claw. As always, my name is Gorilla Mezzo, and I am so pleased to be back every single Monday night with the JFW. Jimmy, thank you as always for having me. I will see you on Friday for Friday Stand Firm. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.